Well, let's move on to something in your stomach that could be causing you to put on some extra pounds. You're never going to guess what this is. It's not what you ate for dinner. The results of a study on the intestinal microbes in mice has led scientists to suggest that one reason people might be eating more is because of changes in their intestinal bacteria. The study found that as changes took place in the types of bacteria the mice had in their intestines, they were less able to take up glucose, leading to weight gain, high cholesterol, and elevated blood pressure. Experts believe these results are just as applicable to humans. Join us now to help shed some light on this topic is our good friend, gastroenterologist, Dr. Jorge Rodriguez. Welcome back to the right. show. Good to have you back. Good to be here. And so that study was talking about in rodents, but could it be true that the bacterial makeup of our GI tract could affect our weight? Absolutely. Um, there, we know that there are different, different bacteria. Some of them actually absorb more carbohydrates than others. And people that have a predominance of that bacteria end up absorbing a lot more of the calories that they eat. So here, let's take a, a stomach. The green is the bad bacteria, you know, and the orange is actually uh, the good bacteria. The good one? Yeah. Can I have one? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, um, I, we just want I to feel the weight. It. I feel the weight going, going off. Right. The pounds are shedding <laughs> as I chew. Just a carrot. But mice that they've given this bacteria are called firmicutes, they absorb like 25% more of the carbohydrates that are given to them. And they actually gain more weight than the same mice uh, that eat the same calories. So how can yeah. we cultivate better bacteria in our GI tract? Well, what we think is good is to cut down the carbohydrates in your diet, maybe 25, 50%. I mean, we say this all the time in different uh -huh. diets. That will probably tend to bring in the really good bacteria in your intestines and maybe supplement your diet with probiotics so that there is a better balance of it. Again, that's all supposition. So you're saying cut back on some of the processed carbs that we eat, the French fries, the white breads, the white pastas, the sugary sodas yeah. and sugary water drinks. Right. Water drinks. Sure. Yeah. yeah, for many reasons, the fact that they are very high in calories, but they also probably change your ability to lose weight. And so the other thing I wanted to ask you <clears throat> is we talk often on the show about antibiotic use and whatnot. I'm sure that also can play a role in terms of changing your gut bacteria. Absolutely. Um, I mean, <clears throat> we know that there are certain intestinal diseases that if you use certain antibiotics, they yeah. come to the forefront. So this is something that I always try to emphasize to my patients. Don't go to the doctor's office asking for antibiotics. Because mm, usually in a very busy office, sometimes they'll give them just without even knowing what's going on. It's doing you in the long run more harm than good. Yeah. Right? If you're healthy, the body is the hero, and it will usually take care of most things. This is good stuff. Thank uh, you, It's Dr. interesting Rodriguez. stuff. It My really pleasure. is. And, and more to come over the next few years on this topic.